All right, in this lesson, we are going to create an opening in the, I think we'll go to the second floor and create an opening in that joy system. So let's go to our top of second floor plan. And let's say we want to create an opening over here. This could be for mechanical space. It could be for stairway. It could be for a skylight, whatever. It's an opening in the, in the floor system. So if we cut a hole in the floor, in the joy system, watch, I'm going to hover over the edge here and I'm going to click on that uh, joy system and I'm going to say edit boundary. And all I'm going to do is use a rectangle tool and I'm just going to kind of, you know, create some sort of an opening, right? That's it. Close polygon. Finish. It's going to create an opening in that system. Now you have to be careful because these are open web joists. It needs to make so many up and down um, transitions and then to create, you know, the, the length. And this has to be long enough for the joist. If the web depth is too deep for the span, you'll get an error over here. Okay. So we've created an opening in there and we click out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two guys and unpin them because I'm going to turn them into heavier sections. Okay, so I'm going to grab both of these guys after I've unpinned them and I'm going to go to my type selector. I'm going to say, okay, you guys are W410 by 46. Click out. Good. Now I'm going to grab this guy and let's get this guy out of the way here just for the time being. So I'm going to pick on here and say create similar it means give me one of these. So I'm going to start from here and just kind of drag to there because I know it's at the end point. And then I can really just pick any one of these guys. It doesn't matter. And take that one over to there. It's going to do the cutback and everything for me. And it looks like it drew a diagonal crosser and might have to delete that. Escape, escape. Pick on here, delete. I had my chain turned on. Now I'm going to use my extend tool. Extend, multiple, two here, this guy and this guy. Escape, escape. Now these guys in here, maybe I want to turn them into channels or something like that. Okay. So if I, let's just say as an example, I can unpin any one of these guys at any point and say, okay, you are not a, an open web steel joist. You are a you know, C310 by 45, click out. Now, if I wanted to maybe put some, some diagonals in here, I could just go up to here and say beam and pick that same um, channel section, maybe a little deeper one, and zoom in over here and, you know, go out of 45 over here. Escape, or I'll draw a chain. See the joy sitting on top of the beam there nicely. Okay, so there's an opening. And we could dimension it. We could have put some reference planes in there and located that. Um, we can probably copy and paste the majority of this, I would say, down to the second floor. Oh, we are in the second floor. So up to the roof. I would say try deleting the joist or beam system on the roof and maybe copy and paste this whole thing right up. Again, reference planes come in very handy here for vertical uh, alignment. So you can go from the 25th floor to the first floor and you can see that plumb line. Uh, let's just have a quick look at that in 3D. And our last 3D view looked like this. We should have duplicated that as a separate view. And now I can go back to here and turn my section box off. Zoom out, and there is my nice little floor opening. And what we've done is we've modified this beam system, and we can actually reset it back to its original state. Now, the in, we can do it from a floor plan, we can do it from a 3D view. Um, let's do it from the second floor, okay? And so what we've done here, the couple of things, we've cut a hole in the beam system. That's one thing, but we've also changed some components. So um, in fact, let's go back to that 3D view. Let's just say, for instance, we took this guy and we changed, we unpinned him and we changed it to a different, you know, shape of some form. Okay. 
that's still part of that beam system. So to reset, to go right back to the original, what we want to do is this. We want to click on the beam system. We want to say edit boundary. First of all, we want to get rid of the hole. And we have to do that not with the reset button. We have to go tab, click, and delete. That actually deletes the, the hole opening. Now, if we just stop at this point and hit finish, what will happen is we'll see this. Then, you know, if we wanted to get rid of these individual beams that were drawn, we'd get rid of them. So let's do that from the second floor plan, just to kind of reverse what we did. Oops. Top of second floor. So I'm going to say click on these guys. And I can use any sort of selection method I want and then say, OK, delete them. And then back to my 3D view. And now what I'm going to, oh, I have one more beam here that I drew. Get rid of this guy. Now the rest of it is, is done with, you see how that actually spanned all the way across. So now to do a full reset, okay, with the beam system, I hover over my beam system, I click on it, I say edit boundary, and then I say reset. Reset will extend this one across and convert these back to be normal joists. So now I do a reset. It's all about kind of keeping it at, intact as a beam system. I hit finish and that would, really undo all of that okay so uh, remove the opening then reset the system um, and then and, and delete the extra beams that i put in there okay so let's just undo that back i like the look of that opening in there and there we have it oh um yeah let's leave it like that 